We have some breaking news. It looks like uh, the judge, uh, the the uh, a panel of judges, has actually done Donald Trump a little bit of a favor here. I I would say it's a, I mean a, a favor. I don't know if it's the right way of stating it, but a, yeah. a massive decrease in the amount of money he needed to come up with. If you remember, it was four hundred and sixty four million dollars. He claimed he could not come up with that amount for a bond, went to court, tried to overturn that, and they have reduced it significantly to $175 million. So uh, over a 60% reduction in that number. Now, of course, $175 million, to my taste, is is still excessive and ridiculous for what's gone on here. Completely How, uh, excessive and ridiculous. Nothing but, ever like this. No. Uh, and as you, you know, as you, we've noted um, many, many times, I did a whole show on this on Studios America, where you go through the ways this rule, rule has been uh, used historically, and there are no parallels at all to what has happened with Donald Trump. It is quite clearly and quite obviously a political persecution, whether you like Trump or not. And so, uh, but this is a big difference because he can probably come up with $175 million yeah. instead of the 464. So a huge deal, a, a massive victory for Donald Trump in this case. And I'm curious to see because Letitia James has gone through the uh, ritual of posting over and over again the amount owed by Donald Trump, like bragging about it because it keeps going up as as Andy McCarthy mentioned, well, it was a hundred and some odd thousand dollars a day. And she just keeps mentioning, I wonder if she'll continue that process now that it's gone down by over 60%. Uh, we will see, uh, because she, she's she been bragging about this for, you know, weeks and weeks, and uh, now takes a massive hit. And I think a blatantly obvious one, right? Like, I think anyone who looks at this fairly can tell this was un, this was ridiculous from the beginning, and now a big, you know, slap in the face for this or, original ruling. I'm wondering if he could come up with the 171. I, I would think so. Uh, you know, he's, he claimed... And one filing to have $400 million in cash. Now, he had to come up with a bond for uh, the E. Jean Carroll thing, which was 90-something million, uh, which would suck some of that out. Uh, whether he's, you know, he could do it uh, probably all himself. However, when you have that sort of money, uh, you can also, when you have that sort of cash laying around, you can usually get someone to loan you uh, that with the cash as collateral very easily. So he, well. regardless of the process he goes through, You'd think he'd be able to get this again, and like you know, if you can find a bank, yeah. Although you know, this, I'm I'm of the view, and I, I've mentioned this before. This is just my own speculation: is that Donald Trump could have come up with the 464 million dollars. He correctly argues that that is completely unfair, and I think you know, given time, he could come up with that sort of money. But why not play this out? Why not push this as far as you can? It's going to take a long time until they actually start seizing property, as Andy laid out a little bit earlier. And, you know, why not use that time to the best of your ability to fight this off? Because I think he's very likely to win. I think he's very likely to win in an, in an appeal or at least have this reduced to, you know, maybe a dollar fine or $10,000 fine or something that would be somewhat aligned with reality. I think eventually he probably wins this. So the longer he can play this out without having to give up resources, the better. You know, you the one thing that is good from all of this, and I try to look at the bright side on everything as much as I can, and I can usually never find it because that bright side has been snuffed out long ago in my life. Anyway, um, <laughs> wow. I, the, the, uh, the bright side on this in some ways is, I don't think people really understood what it was like back in the Jim Crow days. I don't think white people really understood what it was like where you just, there's not a chance you're getting a fair trial. Not a chance. And kids don't trust the police. Um, we don't, we don't understand that. And now this injustice is being served on uh, so many Americans from the FBI to the Justice Department to the to the court system in Donald Trump's case. And it does give you a view on uh, how important justice is, the kind of justice that many of us have taken for granted our whole lives. You know, that's, that's all right. The courts will figure it out. And yeah, I, I, how many times have we said lately that the courts are the only thing standing between us and chaos? Uh, they've been the probably the... The shining, you know, uh, light when it comes to justice lately, we, as we've seen in the Supreme Court multiple times, 
to to think of where this is going and how close we are to that you know that precipice is really I mean we really are on the precipice of disaster when it comes to this. Uh, I I just I am glad to see though that at least there's something like even even in these cases even with someone who like Donald Trump who they're obviously trying to take out the system does have a way of uh, of, of coming through at the end and I think you know might Maybe. be it might go I'll need to go all the way to the Supreme Court but it does seem to play out the right way a lot of times and I I don't know maybe the system holds together it doesn't feel like it's going to a lot but it has so far.